Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at materials within Blender and within Unity. And I'll show you how I work between the two and how I set things up. Now, so primarily I'm working within Blender, and I'll create my objects within Blender, and I'll create my materials within Blender, and then I'll import them into Unity. But let's just take a look at Unity first. So within here, from the previous tutorial, here's my red material that I had, and I dragged it onto this sphere like this. All right, if I want to have more materials, a lot of times the way I'll work is I'll create my materials in advance. So I'll create a material, I'll call this one green, like that, and I'll create another material, and I'll call it blue, like this, okay? So blue is obviously going to have to be blue. So I'm going to come over here and grab that. Brings up my color tool. I'll move it over here. I'll grab some blue color, right? Same with this. There's, there's green. Click that little box. Grab a green color, like that. This tab allows you to look at different views of your colors, like this, if you like to select them differently, okay? And like that. So there I have my colors in advance. And then that way, if I come up here and create more objects into the scene, maybe I'll put a cube into the scene. There it is over here. I'll move that so I can just move it out of the way like that. And then with the cube selected, I'll drag the blue onto the cube. And then with this selected, I'll, well, let me grab another one. I'll grab a, uh, I'll add a capsule to the scene. I'll move that over here. Yikes, there it is. And then I'll just drag green onto that. So there it is. I've created my materials and I've quickly added them to the objects. Very simple, very nice. Unity is quite powerful. So, and, but within Blender, how I typically work otherwise is I'm typically always thinking about more than one material. So maybe this is my icosphere, but it'll be my icosphere building or something like that. So maybe I'll go into edit mode in here with face select active like this. I'll press this. In fact, you know what you can do? You can actually hold down the shift key and left click these. That way you can select faces or edges or vertices, however you want. I tend to just use one at a time. All right. But so with this selected, so far associated with this object is just this one green material. But I want to make this a window because this is going to be my little building. So maybe I'll select another. So maybe this, these will be the windows to this building like that. And so what I'll do is come up here and I'll press this plus button and I'm going to add a new material here. And maybe I'll just make it this kind of light blue. Come down here to transparency, activate transparency. I'm going to turn the alpha way down. And that way my material you see up in here is displayed kind of like a window, you know, just kind of quick effect. And then, but I don't see it yet. In order to see it, you have to assign it within edit mode. So I'm in edit mode like that. So I'll assign it there and then I'll leave edit mode with the tab. You tab into edit mode and out of edit mode. Now actually you see those anomalies in the back but that's because part of the face of the icosphere is missing from an earlier project but I'll just look at it from a different view. So like that. So there you see there is my view down there and if I was to import this object into Unity, then it would bring both those materials into the Unity environment. And I show that here in a couple videos from now. It's already posted, but I'll put it in the playlist. So that's the basics of adding materials in Unity and within Blender. But I, like I said, I typically work in Blender it's, uh, for this kind of work because it's my main program for editing and modeling and creating animations and things like that. And then we drag them into Unity for creating simulations and games and things of that nature. All right, well, so the, in the next tutorial, we're going to cover uh, the basics of the terrain. So, Because when you start a project from scratch like this, I say file new project, it gives you the options of importing all these kind of packages. We'll start with the terrain assets, and we'll start working with the basic terrain in here. And it's pretty quite simple. Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.